What's up educators? In this video tutorial, I'm gonna share with you some of my experiences and best practices using the Explain Everything app for the iPad. So I've been making educational videos since 2007 and in 2014, was it? Yeah, in 2014 I found the uh, Explain Everything app and since then I've been making, I don't know, dozens, hundreds of math video tutorials because in my experience, it's the easiest way to do so. So again, this is an iPad app um, I believe it's also on Android. Uh, and we're gonna jump to the main page where we can create new projects, join or share projects. And I'm gonna create a new project. I'm just gonna use a blank canvas. And I'm gonna talk to you about the interface and some of the tools that I like to use the most. Uh, so the first thing actually that I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take a screenshot and I'm gonna import an image right now. And I'm gonna click this little icon above the hand tool to add new media. And I'm going to hit existing media and I'm going to grab the most recent one and I'm going to press done. Tremendous. It looks the same, doesn't it? But in fact, we can now zoom in and we can take a look at these, uh, these tools a little bit further. So this is the hand tool. You can select in like individual layers and shift them around and manipulate them. Um, but some of the tools that I use most frequently are this tool right here. This is the draw tool, the pen tool that allows you to write and scribble, etc. cetera. Uh, this beneath it, this is the highlighter. And uh, it certainly comes in handy. And in fact, I'll use it right now because probably, I don't know, maybe my favorite tool is this tool right here. And the reason I love it so much is it um, really helps draw students' attention to whatever it is that you're trying to communicate. And I'll elaborate on that in a moment. And then the last tool that I use probably the most frequently is this zoom and pan tool right here. It just makes shifting around and manipulating what you want to show on the page much easier. Okay, great. So what can you do with the Explain Everything app? Um, let's say hypothetically you taught math and you want to teach students how to multiply binomials. You can simply jot down the expression or the equation and then illustrate how to foil um, first, outer, inner, last, etc. Alternatively, you can create projects um, and import them as actually my wife did, who she uh, teaches eighth grade math. And we'll go through one of her slides. Okay, so now here is something that she did. And uh, I'm going to jump to the beginning of this video that she made. So this particular problem she spent just about two minutes on. And when I click the timeline itself, I can sort of scooch ahead and I can see exactly what she did. And I am kind of jealous of her handwriting. And I can see she's, you know, utilizing different colors along with the uh, laser pointer. I'll press play. And so what she's going to do and what I do is you're going to and you can see this is a great way to sort of break down um, complex ideas and I'm going to share with you a few other examples so um, routinely I uh, I break down geometry regions tests so um, here is a test from the living environment I'm not a science teacher but how would I use the laser pointer well if uh, we're looking at for example question number 29 I might create a video actually and you know we'll do that right now why not and the, the very bottom of the screen we see this uh, this like red solid concentric circle I'm gonna press once and um, it's recording so let's let's begin question number 29 after a lake dried up during a severe drought a section of dis undisturbed rock layers was exposed the layers are re uh, represented below and I can see that here in this diagram so I see fossils oops fossils in undisturbed rock layers. So I'm going to zoom in just a tad. And um, if I had any background knowledge, I would say, you know, that this is probably significant. And I'm going to go back and instead of using the black highlighter, I'm going to use red. So this means something. This means something. And uh, why not? This, I'm sure, is also relevant. And we'll jump down to the, the questions themselves. And I know that, um, you know, all students, not just students with IEPs, but I think that all students benefit from having questions read out loud. So the sequence of rock layers best illustrates the concept that what is it that living and non-living environment both change over time? Uh, 
I like the idea that um, it is important to preserve the diversity of species and habitats. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So we can rule that out. And you'll notice that this is an excellent way to teach um, strategies, um, you know, process of elimination strategies for multiple. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new project. And um, actually, you know what I'm doing? I'm, we're going to import a, uh, a, a PDF. So you can find PDFs all over the place. I'm sure you've created um, PDFs of, you know, PowerPoint presentations in your own class. And uh, I'm going to go to the New York Regents website and I'm going to find a, let's see, um, why not? We'll do geometry and I'll just grab this test right here. I'm going to click on the regular size version. And so now here we've got the June 2018 test. What we're going to do right now is click on the upper right hand corner where it we can sort of export this to another app. We've got Chrome. We've got the New York Times cooking app for some reason, but I'm going to copy it to explain everything. And you'll notice we've got a couple options. It says the default is separate slides, and that is what you want to do, but you've got options should you want to experiment. I'm going to click Insert. Amazing. All right. And so in the lower right-hand corner, I can see that we're on slide one of 32 there's 32 pages and um let's 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 take a look at this all right so we'll we'll take a look at question we'll start with question number one why not here is a strategy that i really like to do so uh, underneath the paint bucket is uh this icon right here and you can create sh shapes so whenever i'm using the uh explain everything app i want to isolate just that one question on the page. So um, I'm gonna click and drag and you'll notice it creates like a, a, a rectangle, but it's shaded gray and I don't like, I don't love that. And so I'm gonna change it from gray to white. And now all of a sudden I can make question number two disappear and I'll zoom in on question number one and uh, I'm gonna press record and, uh, and I'm reading and I always use the um, the laser pointer. It says, after a counterclockwise rotation about point X, oh, there's point X, scaling triangle ABC maps onto RST shown in this diagram right here, which statement must be true? And you know, I would say to the students, well, order matters. So A corresponds with R. I would say that B corresponds with S. And I would say C corresponds with T. And so I would, you know, highlight the various angles, illustrating that, um, there we go, that it looks a little something like this. And then I would go through and I would say, which statement must be true. And uh, if we look at option number one, it says angle A is congruent to angle R. And, you know, they're both red and they both uh, are in the first spot in this uh, specific triangle sequence. So that makes sense to me. So I would maybe put like a little question mark right there. And if we're looking um, at option three, and, you know, let's say hypothetically, I, um, I made a mistake. And let's say I said, oh, it is option three. CB is congruent to TR, which doesn't make sense. And, um, and I what I would do is I would pause and I would stop it and I would say, oh rats, that's ridiculous. So I could do a couple things. I could go back um, just a little bit. So let's say I, I stopped right here and I'm gonna press and hold on the timeline and I'm gonna press split or delete all from here. And I could do that. And so now I can sort of start over and continue um, this little video explanation. Alternatively, and this is probably what you're gonna wanna do, is you're gonna start all over again um, as I really like to do it, except the default is mix. And um, we're gonna need to change that because if I press record, because I wanna create, you know, I wanna do this problem over, I'll press record. record. And then I and I'm reading. I wanna speak. And I always use the... So you, you see that what I'm doing is I'm recording over the video itself. So both videos are there. That doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna to return to zero, zero, zero. And instead of mix, I'm gonna press it and we're gonna change it to overwrite. So now, yeah, and we want to overwrite it. So now we're at back at square one. We've got sort of um, a fresh canvas to work upon. Uh, question number one, after a counterclockwise rotation, da 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 da. Um, so that's super helpful. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so let's say that uh, 
let's say that we, you know, annotated and diagrammed this, um, you know, let's, let's, again. let's say that we annotated this, this problem, we're able to correctly identify the right answer. Um, what happens next? And this is, this is really important. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on slide two of 32 in the lower right hand corner. And I'm going to hold it for just a moment. And then on the left hand, upper left hand corner of this sort of uh, select sides to edit page, we can duplicate it. And we want to duplicate it not with, but without the recording. Amazing. And so I'm going to click now on slide. Okay. I'm going to click now. I'm going to go jump now from slide two to slide three. Beautiful. And so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out just a tad and I'm going to use the hand tool and I'm going to grab this, uh, this white rectangle that we made a moment ago and, um, zoom. Oops. And I'm going to, there we go. And I'll zoom in using the zoom in pan tool. So we've got something that looks a little bit like this here. You know, I'm going to give you an example of where this comes um, in handy. So let's, so I'm going to go into Safari and I'm going to return to that New York regions page and I'm going to jump out of geometry and let's go to, we can go back to living environment. I'm just going to randomly find a test June, 2017. Why not? I'm going to click examination. And uh, again, we're going to export it. We're going to send it straight to the explain everything app. We want separate slides, total of 28 slides. And uh, I'm going to jump to a, a page that looks pretty busy, uh, one where it looks like there's a lot going on. And uh, let's do, why not? Let's do, let's do this page right here. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is zoom in on question number 17, right? And um, this is really busy. This, like everything here is pretty distracting for students. Likewise, um, this text from question number 16. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to zoom out just a tad and I'm going to create a square over number 18 or, and I'm going to undo this. We're going to make this white. There we go. Beautiful. We're going to, oops, there we go. I'm going to do this one more time. Tremendous. All right. And so now when we zoom in, we've got lots of space to work with. And you know what? This black horizontal line, I'm sorry, vertical line is driving me nutty. All right. There we go. So now when we zoom in, we've isolated just this question and we can, um, proteins, super important, probably as a starch, we can like highlight, annotate, do whatever we need. And then when we're done, what we'll do is we'll um, click four of 28, we'll hold it, we'll duplicate it, and there's no video there, but if there was, we would wanna duplicate it without the video. I'll jump to the next slide, I'll pan out, and then I will continue shifting this rectangle around as needed. So if we wanted to put it right there, for example, beautiful. And then we would create a new video. Um, all right, educators, I hope this was uh, meaningful, important for you. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot me an email. Uh, post something on this uh, YouTube channel or find me at mrdroves.com. Good luck.